But I've got another interesting thing to show you as far as uh, this Smith & Wesson here. And uh, nothing unusual about the box, Smith & Wesson box. It tells us that it's a, a Model 642-2 and that it's serial number CVD7542. So let's take a look at it. There we go. Comes with all its normal stuff. Don't see anything really different there. Open up the cylinder. Everything seems to be in working order, right? Let's double check. Now we can see here on a Smith that the serial number and the uh, model are both on the inside of the frame there. And we can verify that it's the model 642-2 and we've got the same serial number, Charlie Victor David 7542. Everything looks legit, right? Whoops, there's something wrong here. Can you tell what it is? Uh, if you're not an aficionado of, of Smith & Wesson revolvers, let's take a look. It's an airweight Smith & Wesson J-frame. It's a 5-shot 38 Special. It's got the rubber grips. Have we figured out the difference yet? Or the problem here? It's got a hammer. So, what's up with that? All firearms have a hammer, right? Well, this one's got an external hammer. A Model 642 should have no hammer. should be double action only. This is really a Model 637, so it's kind of unique. It's a Model 637 in the box, missed, marked wrong here on the frame, marked wrong on the box. Definitely has the external hammer. We can all see that, and this is a Model 637. However, it's marked 642-2. So that's a pretty neat little thing. I guess this happens once in a while, just like it can happen with coins or other things that we see mismatched. But uh, I'm not sure what kind of value it adds. Uh, it's something like this, but definitely interesting to see, and hopefully that was interesting for you. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.